Hi, my name is Sahana Sudarsan, and I am a freshman in high school from Austin, Texas. As everyone in the world right now is aware, COVID-19 is a crisis that is changing lives everywhere. These changes are not going to be short term. When it is safe to go out again, our lives will not go back to normal. I've been describing the COVID-19 pandemic as our generation's major event, as generation before us had 9-11 and before that was World War II. These events all have in common is that they had effect long after they occurred, 9-11 changing our security and World War II changing international relations. We don't know when it's gonna be safe to interact again, but there are going to be changes in the way that we do interact. People are gonna be afraid to interact closely with one another. This crisis has made us really reflective about how we can keep ourselves clean, like washing hands, et cetera, and it's helped us become more aware about public health and how we can decrease our chances of spreading diseases and viruses such as the coronavirus. However, many people will be afraid to resume normal human interaction of shaking hands, hugging, or even standing close to another person because we have all of these social distancing guidelines in place, such as standing six feet apart. All of these practices were considered totally normal before the pandemic happened. It's no secret that the economy has been massively affected by this pandemic, but small businesses are also taking a huge hit, which is something that the media hasn't covered as much. Many, lo many local and small businesses are being forced to shut down. I personally have had many of my favorite local restaurants closed down, as towns all over the country will start to see a lack of local businesses and local restaurants as society starts to reopen. We will also hopefully start to see more appreciation for those who are continuing to work and ke are keeping our country running during these trying times. These are people like doctors, nurses, teachers, store and restaurant workers, and everybody else who is currently working to allow us to stay healthy and safe. We have long held CEOs and big businesses as those who run our country, but hopefully with this, societal change that we're seeing, we are able to realize the value of these people who are continuing to work and, uh, and are helping our society operate, and we can reward them after society reopens, and we can give them higher pay, more benefits, and more respect, too. COVID-19 has changed the way that we are living and will continue to change the way that we are living in ways that we can't fully predict. It will change the way that we operate, the ways that we work, the ways that we interact with other people. And we can, we can only hope to do our best to ensure that our society changes for the better and not for the worse.